Hello, I'm Bob McDonough, Public Information Officer for the Berkshire County Sheriff's Office. As many of you may know, we're nearing completion on construction of the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction, a state-of-the-art facility being constructed on Cheshire Road in Pittsfield. We at the Sheriff's Office have put together a video describing some of the, some of the uh, progress of this construction project. We're going to show you that video now, and upon its completion, I'll be joined by Berkshire County Sheriff Carmen C. Masmiano, Jr., who will go into more detail about this exciting project. And now, enjoy the video entitled, A Tradition of Excellence Continues. Hello, I'm uh, Sheriff Carmen Massimiano, and for nearly 22 years now, I have been the Sheriff of Berkshire County. And it has been my privilege to serve in this position. And during that time, we have been working on and planning and evolving towards a new correctional facility here in the Berkshires. And what I wanted to do today was give you a brief glimpse of the near completed construction site on Cheshire Road. We're building a new correctional facility that's uh, going to cost us $34 million, have 288 cells, and will accommodate 500 uh, inmates. And it's going to be a state-of-the-art, uh, top-of-the-line uh, facility uh, that hopefully will serve us as well as the 130-year-old facility on 2nd Street in Pittsfield has served us. And so I welcome you today, and I hope that you will carry away a sense of pride and the job that's being done on your behalf and on behalf of the public safety of all the citizens of Berkshire County. Uh, it's a very exciting time at the Berkshire County Sheriff's Office where our watchwords are uh, integrity and decency. And we believe that we can continue to be an organization that deals with people with integrity and with decency in an environment of a new correctional facility that will serve us into the 22nd century and beyond. On behalf of all of us here at the Sheriff's Office, we welcome you on this walkthrough of the new correctional facility, and we thank you for your support over these many years to get this project accomplished. Thank you. Built by returning Civil War veterans at a cost of about $175,000, less than 1% of the cost of the new facility, the brick and marble walls of the Berkshire County House of Correction have served the county's correctional needs for 130 years. Its builders had the foresight to plan for 109 inmates, a total not reached until the 1980s, when mandatory sentencing and tougher drunk driving laws inflated county correctional populations statewide. For the past 20 years, overcrowding has been a growing problem at the Berkshire County House of Correction, to the point where inmates have been quartered in other facilities within the state. In the past several years, the inmate population at 2nd Street has often approached or surpassed the 200 mark, double its capacity. Tireless efforts by Sheriff Masmiano, who advocated for a new jail for nearly 20 years, bore fruit in 1995 when the state legislature approved funding for the construction of a new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction. With great assistance from our county legislative delegation, Pittsfield City officials, and the Site Selection Review Committee, a site for the new jail and House of Correction was selected on a 25-acre parcel on Cheshire Road in Pittsfield adjacent to the Patricka Construction Company property near the Berkshire Mall Road. R. W. Granger & Sons construction of Shrewsbury was selected to be general contractor for the project. Massachusetts Governor Paul Salucci headed a list of dignitaries who assisted Sheriff Masmiano at the groundbreaking ceremony for the new facility September 22, 1998. We had a break ground on the New Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction. Uh, this is a $28 million state-of-the-art facility that will help our efforts to protect the lives of the people of this region and of this state. Uh, we all know that the existing jail is old and overcrowded, and even with shipping out many prisoners, it is still operating at more than double capacity. Overcrowding threatens public safety, and it jeopardizes the lives of correction officers. Uh, this new facility will be 288 cells. It'll have top-notch security and computer technology. It will create 100 construction jobs, and it will certainly create some 
permanent new and full-time uh, jobs once the facility is completed. I can't compliment Sheriff Masmiano enough for the hard work that he has put into this project. He's chased this project for 15 years, endlessly, and chased everybody else in this crowd, too. But, uh, again, it's a great day, and it's great to achieve a goal like Sheriff Masmiano has achieved. We are going to have a correctional facility that will meet the needs of this uh, county and its people for many, many years to come. We are very grateful to Governor Salucci and his administration uh, for their hard work and commitment to this project. We are extremely grateful to the citizens of Berkshire County who never once wavered in their support of this plan at any time. And no matter where I went in this uh, uh, county, from uh, villages to towns to cities, the overwhelming majority of its citizens were overwhelmingly in favor of this project. One, two, three, go! Actual construction of the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction began in March of 1999 with the clearing of land. Under the direction of Berkshire County Sheriff's Office Director of Facilities Thomas M. Mazio Jr. and Division of Capital Asset Management Resident Engineer Edward Briggs from Lee, the 18-month project has proceeded on schedule with completion expected in September. By June 18, 1999, the first concrete was being poured for the foundations of the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction. Throughout the summer, the facility began to take shape with the construction of roads, parking areas and perimeter walls, installation of plumbing and drainage pipes, and preparation of concrete slabs that serve as the floors for the prefabricated cells. After a busy summer construction season, the first of the prefabricated cells arrived on site in early September. Each prefabricated unit, weighing 56,000 pounds, contains two cells and a utility room for plumbing and electrical connections. As you can see, each unit was hoisted by a large 30-ton crane and guided into place by hand. The double-tiered cells were in place by early October 1999, and later that month the process of enclosing the jail was underway with the construction of the roof and interior walls. Throughout the winter, work has progressed on the interior of the facility. Well, we've been on the project since March of 99. Uh, all in all, the project's gone well, I, I think. Uh, one of the reasons, I think, is because of the local subcontractors. Uh, makes up about 75% of the workers here. Um, the other reason, I believe, is, is, the, is the weather. We've had such a mild winter, it hasn't really slowed down any of the project. They were roofing in December and January up here. And here we are, April of 2000. Um, the exterior of the building and the project's about three quarters of the way complete. We're going to be right on time with our target date of September of 2000. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all the Berkshire County uh, Jail and House of Correction employees that we're looking forward to working in this new state-of-the-art facility. As you can see, there is a remarkable difference between the linear cell concept in place at the current Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction on 2nd Street and the podular housing units found within the concept of direct supervision at the new facility. Under the direct supervision unit management mode of operation, the new Berkshire County facility is broken down into eight semi-autonomous units, each with 36 cells capable of holding up to 70 inmates. Each housing unit, or pod, has its own control area where the officer in charge can use a computer to open and close cell doors, monitor inmate movement, and control lighting. The computer terminal also enables the officer to access the inmate management system, which contains pertinent information on each inmate in the pod. Each of the housing units also has its own interview and triage rooms and shower areas, plus a recreation deck. Among the eight pods at the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction will be a unit for women awaiting court appearances. Women have not been housed in Berkshire County since 1995. The cells themselves are each 91 square feet, nearly twice the size of cells at the 2nd Street facility. Each of the pod cells will contain a bed, wash basin, toilet, mirror, and writing table, all secured to the cell wall or floor. Direct supervision entails extensive interaction between correctional officers and inmates. Correctional staff are given the responsibility and authority to make a wide range of decisions within the housing unit, 
essentially turning block officers into block managers. A team of staff members is assigned to manage a housing unit over an extended period of time, and the successful management of the unit depends on the professionalism and teamwork of the staff. Since there will be a larger inmate capacity, the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction will have larger quarters for booking and receiving inmates, for medical care, for human services, vocational and classroom education, visiting areas, dining areas, maintenance, report writing, and staff training and fitness. In addition, the modern facility will have vastly improved communications capabilities, a state-of-the-art facility driven by computer technology. Other advances at the new jail include a central control unit, an automated fire protection system, an officer duress system that can locate an officer anywhere in the building, electronically sensitive security fences, and a microwave detection system. But even with these high-tech advances, the most valuable asset of the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction, as with the current facility, is a well-trained professional staff dedicated to the preservation of public safety and the care and custody of inmates. To staff the larger new facility, the Berkshire County Sheriff's Office has aggressively recruited new staff members who have had to pass a battery of tests including a written exam, interview, and physical fitness exam. A seven-week recruit training academy for correctional officers, the first ever hosted by the Berkshire County Sheriff's Office, began January 31st at the Massachusetts Army National Guard Armory on Vin Hebert Boulevard in Pittsfield. The recruits received instruction in a wide variety of subjects necessary for their employment as correctional officers in a modern facility. These subjects include cardiopulmonary resuscitation, communicable diseases, communication skills, computer skills, cultural diversity, defensive tactics, firearms safety and handling, fire safety, first aid, hostage situations, inmate discipline, inmate rights, searches and contraband, security procedures, sexual harassment, substance abuse, suicide awareness and prevention, use of force, court testimony, physical fitness, stress management, supervision of special needs inmates, transportation and use of restraints. The first 31 Academy graduates took the oath of office during a well-attended ceremony at the Armory March 17th and those 31 graduates are now on duty for the Sheriff's Office at the Berkshire County House of Correction. A second training academy is now underway, with a third scheduled to begin in May. Altogether, more than 100 new positions will be added to the Berkshire County Sheriff's Office in order to staff the new facility. This is a very difficult job that good people can do, and can do well. It doesn't make it any less difficult. So to the graduates, if you take the training that you have possessed, that you have been given, and you use the integrity that those who love you and are here today with you to celebrate have instilled in you, and you bring those ambitions of, of integrity, integrity and decency to the job, this is a very doable job, and it will be rewarding. For not only will you help preserve the public safety, but you will have the opportunity to make sure that somebody may well change their ways as a result of your influence. Sheriff Magic County, as history is being made today in Berkshire County, you are about to receive 31 of the finest people I've ever had the pleasure of being associated with. There isn't one among us who isn't grateful for having the opportunity to be, first to, to be the first academy to be forever part of the history of the Berkshire County House of Correction the Jail. My name is Michael J. Ash, Jr., Sheriff of Hamden County, which is a neighboring county of Berkshire. And uh, more importantly, I've been a longtime friend of Carmen Masmiano, your sheriff in Berkshire. And uh, I'm just really excited and enthused about the fact that I've been able to observe over the years about the tremendous leadership that Carmen has played in Berkshire regarding their correctional system and the fact that he's had to deal with this antiquated facility. And I can recall back here in Hamden County where we had a very similar situation. A correctional facility that has existed for over 100 years. And, uh, and again, we were very honored 
uh, some eight or nine years ago to establish our new facility here at Stony Brook. And we know the type of opportunity that we seized at that particular time to bring direct supervision and enhance the professionalism of all our staff. So at this particular time, I just wanted to uh, congratulate Carmen and the staff for the wonderful sacrifice that they made and want to wish them well uh, as they embark on this exciting new endeavor. We hope you enjoyed this video. I'm now joined by Carmen C. Masmiano, Jr., Sheriff of Berkshire County since 1978. And Sheriff, it must seem like most of those 22 years have been spent trying to chase this project and get it accomplished. Uh, I wasn't very effective, uh, Bobby. <laughs> I, uh, it took me a great deal of time to do it. But, you know, the, the interesting thing about that, I hear that, and, uh, and it seems like yesterday. Uh, but the, the thing that has always been of great, uh, marvelous uh, attraction for me on this particular project was that the people of Berkshire County never faltered. Uh, the citizens, uh, no matter where they were, uh, would uh, indicate just how strongly they believed in the project and they would pass that message on. So to the extent that we have uh, what we need and what is necessary to preserve the public safety, uh, the lion's share of the credit goes to the people of Berkshire County who, who work so hard with me every single day. Uh, but it is nice to be at this point. Uh, this film uh, that the people have seen uh, is an indication of where we are. And in fact, we have advanced uh, a good deal since uh, the film was made. And uh, it's, it's really something that uh, that will uh, give people a, a, an overview of what's taking place. And as, of you, as you and I and the other members of the Sheriff's Office have discussed, we intend to have a, a public open house uh, for all the people of Berkshire County. And we're still working on the logistics of that, exactly when it will take place and how. But we want to make it available to the people to come through and see this correctional facility. After all, we only build them once every 130 years or so. So the people who are going to see this one uh, probably will not be around to see the next one. And um, uh, so we're going to do that. And it's an exciting time at the sheriff's office uh, for all of us. Uh, and it's been a very, very uh, complicated task uh, for the staff. Uh, not only is this a very modern facility, technologically it is the most advanced one in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts at this time. So we're going from a, a building that was built by re returning Civil War veterans uh, to a 21st century uh, X-Files type of, uh, of uh, uh, construction and technology. And so they're uh, having to update and improve, uh, as we all are, our skills as to computers and uh, security technologies and, and, and things of that nature. But it's been a very exciting time and, and I'm very grateful to you and CM Sorrentino uh, from Lee for uh, making that uh, video so that we could show it to the people of Berkshire County and keep them updated in a visual sense as to what's taking place. Okay. Sheriff, following up a couple of points made in the video, first the governor alluded to a $28 million cost for the project and later we talked about a $34 million cost and also there was talk of a third training academy. Yeah. Yes. First, can you describe the, the $6 million difference in yes. the description? At the time we had the, uh, the groundbreaking, we, when we first uh, set out to uh, build this facility, the estimates for the cost uh, were in the $24 million range, uh, $26 million range. And then uh, we, we delayed for several years and monies were added to it uh, for a regional lockup. Instead of building a separate freestanding facility, we would, uh, we would build it and look at the entire campus uh, for that. Uh, and then uh, we went in and got the money that was necessary to build the right size jail, which was $34 million. At the time the governor did the groundbreaking, that was still in the legislature and had not passed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it was passed and the governor signed it and was always very much in favor, as was the lieutenant governor, our own lieutenant governor, very much in favor of uh, building the uh, the proper facility here in Berkshire County uh, for the public safety and the correctional needs for public safety. So the difference was at the time of the groundbreaking, what we had in hand was 28 million, but we were going after 34 million, which we ultimately got. This is a facility, as you know, Bob, that uh, will hold 500. Uh, it is uh, the most modern correctional facility going online in the Commonwealth today. 
uh, and it will uh, provide us the opportunity to have a, uh, a program that is consistent with uh, punishment and treatment mm -hmm. and uh, also consistent with the needs of the county. We have an awful lot of people who are held in other facilities uh, due to the fact that we did not have enough room on 2nd Street to accommodate them. This, this facility uh, should meet uh, our needs uh, now and into the future, although uh, when Hamden County Sheriff Ash's facility was built, uh, it had a capacity of 1,600, and they said that they would reach that capacity in the year 2007. It wasn't open. It, it, it wasn't open two years that they were far beyond the capacity. Mm -hmm. So, as that saying, if you build it, they will come. Mm -hmm. we're, we're very, we're very anxious to make sure that we preserve what we have and, and expand uh, this facility. And we did do that, and we did it with the help of our legislators, who have always been very supportive of the project, both past and present legislators, and our governor and lieutenant governor, Governor Salucci and Lieutenant mm -hmm. Governor Swill. Okay. As for the training academies, we've already completed two very successful academies under the direction of Lieutenant Peter Oaks, our director of training, yes. and that's produced more than 50 new correctional officers. Right. There's talk of further academies. Yes. Uh, are, will there be more academies, and is the hiring process still open? It is, and we will have another academy. Uh, we have been waiting for the state budget to pass and make mm -hmm. sure we had adequate funds not only to maintain. This will be phased in. It isn't like you turn off the lights on 2nd Street on a Friday and move in on a Saturday. You have to phase it in. You have to train your staff for the new building. Uh, and we will have another academy, and we are looking for people. Uh, we are looking for people with specific skills, particularly uh, in trade areas and certifications, nursing, and things that, that, uh, that require uh, a level of professional uh, training uh, above and beyond level entry. We, the academy is seven and eight and nine weeks long, depending on what we undertake. Uh, to mm -hmm. teach them. This is a direct supervision jail, so that's, that's, uh, that's training in and of itself. And what essentially direct supervision means is you've empowered the officer who's in charge mm -hmm. of the pod at the time to make the decisions uh, that will uh, uh, take place while he or she is in charge of that particular section. And, and it requires some training. So we're, we're sending two people out to the National Institute of Corrections mm -hmm. uh, in Longmont, Colorado. And it's a very extensive, very tough to get into when you figure the National Institute of Corrections serves all 50 states. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in all the sheriff's departments and all the state prison systems. Uh, we were lucky to land two spots. Uh, and uh, we have two people going out, in fact, this week. And they will come back as certified trainers of direct supervision and we're excited about that. But to answer your question, yes, we will have another academy. Two, the application process is still open. It's been very extensive. There was a written exam, then an oral interview, a physical uh, exam, and then a psychological uh, testing uh, that was given and then analyzed. So it's been very extensive and we are looking for tradespeople. We're looking for, this is a, this is a huge uh, undertaking. Uh, this facility is roughly 120,000 square feet. The present one is 50,000. It's built uh, in a much different way. Uh, so it requires uh, more people and it requires people to have uh, a higher level of, of training. Now we'll, we'll provide the correctional training and we'll do so as I say. The first academy was seven weeks long. The second one was eight, almost nine. Mm -hmm. And the next one should be uh, at, least, at least nine and possibly mm -hmm. 10. Okay. Sheriff, in the couple of minutes we have remaining, there are two questions I'm asked all the time. First, will the new jail open on time? And second, will it be a, quote, state prison since county government's been uh, dissolved and we're under the state umbrella now? First of all, will it open on, is there a difference between the completion date and the opening yes, date? Yes, there is a difference between the completion date and the opening date. What, what we need to do is once the facility is completed or prior to its completion where the contractor uh, will allow us. We have to get in and train. Mm -hmm. This is a very different facility and it's going to require some very uh, uh, long and hands-on uh, training at site uh, for the various positions and so that we know what we're doing. If you go through it as you have with me and I go through almost uh, on a daily basis and mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you, you really need a road map to get around until, until you get used to where everything is. It's where the building on 2nd Street was uh, um, it's very concise. It's, a, it's one building with three cell blocks and it's in, a, in one area. This one is very spread out and you have to give it some thought. So completion bait and, and, and starting depends on the training and we're moving in the right direction with that and we feel confident we can do that. And um, 
Uh, so that, that, that part of it is we're going to be on time and we're going to be on time as it has been uh, programmed out by the sheriff's office and uh, the people from the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Secondly, while county government structure was abolished, uh, nothing else was. This will still be the Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction. It mm -hmm. still will be run by the rules and regulations that we run it, ran it right up to June 30th. The sheriff uh, received many of the um, duties of the county commissioners. I am now the employer, whomever the sheriff is, mm -hmm. uh, and all the other things that go with it. But the government structure was eliminated. County of Berkshire was not, and we're still uh, running the same way as, for instance, the district attorney. Mm -hmm. The district attorney is under the umbrella of the Commonwealth, but is not an attorney general. He is an elected, independent elected official of the county by the people of that county, and the same goes for the sheriff. Will not become a state prison. The, the statutes of the Commonwealth prevent that from happening. It will be run exactly as it was before. So the nature of the inmates will be pretty much the same as Absolutely. what we have on Second Street. You know, people people <clears throat> should, should understand that 98% of the people who come through the doors of uh, this jail uh, and House of Correction are people who have committed their crimes in the county of Berkshire and have uh, been sentenced by a local court uh, to do uh, their punishment here uh, in Berkshire County. The other 2% uh, may be transfers that I take uh, as sheriff and people take for us every day. I cannot emphasize enough to the people of Berkshire County that there are well over 100 people who uh, will be uh, in other county facilities because we do not have the accommodation uh, to take care of them. That will all change with this new jail and we'll bring everyone back and we'll be taking care of our own situation. All right. Well, Sheriff, thank you very much for doing this program and thank you all for joining us for this introduction to the new Berkshire County Jail and House of Correction. Thank you.